Welcome back to the Phoenix Craft server. This is Scotty. I cleared out an opening to build a sugarcane farm. Unfortunately, I didn't record digging out the opening, but we do have an opening now and we're going to begin. Hopefully, these are all the ingredients we need to build this, but we will find out. So we're going to begin in the back corner here. We're going to just go ahead and place eight blocks down. And then go back another eight. We're going to skip a row and do another eight across. We're going to go ahead and come in one block and place our sticky pistons down. And then on this row here, we're going to put our sand. Let's see, what do we need? Uh, we're going to put our lever on this block. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Let's go ahead and break underneath it. And let's see, let's break this one out too. Yeah. Let's break this one out because redstone will go under here. Then we'll go ahead and put a redstone torch down here. Yep. And now we'll go ahead and put a repeater in between the two blocks. And we should have ourselves a nice little clock. Let's go ahead and turn it on and off. This should work. Let's go ahead and place some redstone dust here and then bring it back from all the pistons up here. Oh, we don't want that. Let's go ahead and oh, let's try that again. Place a row on top of the pistons of sand and then another row of sand on top of the sand. And then here we go ahead and place in some blocks. We actually want to place the road down here for the water stream, so. Okay. Over here we want to break out these blocks. And place a redstone torch on this piston. Then another torch up here on top of the block. Go ahead and break up these blocks as well. And then now we can bring our row back. One more. Let's go ahead and put down the ladder to get up top. Let's bring this up one more block and we should be good. Let's place some redstone dust here. I'll break it for now. Let's bring the row all the way across. We're going to need to get some pistons in here. Wait. Not there. Let's go ahead and work over to here. Let's go and put the piston here. Eh, that's not right. We're going to need to put down another row of blocks first. And then we can put the pistons on top of this row. Looks like we forgot some dust there. 
Now let's try putting our pistons down. Yep, that should work. We can fill this back in. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some glass down so we can actually watch what's going on. There we go, and let's bring it back. Let's get rid of this block that we put here by mistake. Do another row of glass across. And some low stone. I'm not sure if you noticed, but back there you saw my chicken farm right there. Actually, there it is again. We actually went ahead and got an automated chicken farm as well as a sheep farm. Let's go ahead and place some blocks up here to stop anything from going that direction. And we need to block this in so the water doesn't come out. Let's put our chest right here. Now we can put a hopper going into it. Let's enclose it with glass as well. Let's go ahead and get our supplies here because every supply is needed especially at the early stages of the game here where we don't have abundance of resources. Here's a good view of my chicken farm. Looks like we're almost done here with the glass. Let's put our, seal, or let's put our glowstone down. Let's put some stone in front of it to help hide it. And bring up the ladder a little bit more. Yeah, that's looking good. This is in our way. Let's open these up. One more. So now we can put down our water. And now let's put down our sugar cane. There we go. Okay, we need to break the glass to get out of here. Let's go ahead and seal it back up. Okay, what are we doing? We need to come back here and place our last piece of redstone dust on to turn on the pistons. And this farm should be complete. Let's go ahead and turn it on and watch it work. Nothing so far, but here they come. I would say this farm is working. Oh, 
So with this I should hopefully get lots and lots of paper. So that way I can start making fireworks and other things with paper that is very important. Let's go ahead and let this run for a minute here and see how much we get. It looks like we have over a stack already. I think this farm should be successful. I am going to have to build a bigger storage system here in a little bit, because obviously this will fill it up after some time. But we can at least fill in these blocks for now. I would call this a success. Hopefully it doesn't lag the server too much. Uh oh. Here we are in the nether now. A little bit of time has passed, but we're still pretty much in the same day. I just forgot to record. But we're going to work here on our nether tunnel here. We want to connect it up to the main hub, which later on today we're going to be meeting up with some people to keep working on it. As for the actual nether hub, I'm not sure what we're planning on doing. I just know we need to clear out a big area. So we'll probably be in here for a while, digging and digging, but it could be exciting. Hopefully I should turn the corner here in a little bit and just head straight on into the hub. Oh my, that was definitely a close one there. Well, that could have been a lot worse. Okay, so where was I at? Right there. What does it look like down there? That is too close. I'm not sure how I survived that, but thankfully I did. Back to mining.
And there's our time skip portal. It's now later in the day. We're up here in the actual center of the Niller Hub, working on clearing it out and filling it in. Hopefully we'll make some good progress here. As you can see, there's a couple of us here working on it. Foxy Gamer over there, and... Zumik is right there he is. I might be doing a collaboration with him later on, because we're talking about getting a slime farm up and running, which could be a fun thing to do. But for now, we're just mining some nether wreck. Oh, great. Now... Well... Let's see, what can we do? Now, we're not gonna make it build. Can we build? Nope, we can't build. Oh, well. And I think that's a good way to end the episode. Well, thanks for watching.